Here's a glassing technique to help beginner glassers do a better job. Use a brush to start. Most novice glassers have started their careers as hot corners, so they're good at spreading resin. So basically, you can hot coat pretty even with the brush, and I can get around the rails. So it's exactly like hot coating a board. You can spread the resin evenly, you can wrap the rails, resin which helps a lot because a lot of people have trouble wetting off the rails. So we just kind of do that. Then you can lay down your packets. You can lay down your laminates. This is convenient because you can place them wherever you want without having to roll back cloth. So I'm going to place this one backwards to keep the mist cool. Okay, so I got that laid down. I'm just going to set my laminate just lightly. Same thing with that one. Just lightly. Lay it down, find your scissors or whatever you need to cut. I'm going to use electric. The clock is actually getting wet out on its own. I know that there's not puddles of resin that I got to take off with the squeeze. Exactly how much red is on the board. It's minimal. Battery's dying. Looks like I got the last cut. So you can see it's sweating itself out. Which is nice. You let, you let the resin do the work for you. Too much squeegeeing is not a good thing. So I'm just going to pour a little bit just for lubrication. And the first thing I'm going to do is get these boxes saturated. Boxes are saturated. They're pretty saturated already on their own. Okay, I'm gonna use the not sharp side. If I use the sharper side of the squeegee, it pulls so much resin out. You get a dry lamination, you're gonna have all kinds of problems. So notice what I'm doing. Slow. I'm not bringing any resin into the mixture or air into the mixture. I'm going to lay down the rail. Since the rail is already wet, any dry spots in the cloth are going to be wet out as I do this. Of course, if I waterfall the resin over the rail better, this becomes a little bit easier. So there we go. That side's done. So turn that. The non-sharp side of the squeegee. I'm not putting a lot of pressure. And I got kind of a soft angle. No rush because 
This is an efficient method. And this is catalyzed polyester resin, which usually gives beginners a heart attack working with. But to use this method, it's actually pretty easy. I already brushed the resin around the bottom, it's going to saturate as I do this. There's no extra resin anywhere. So I just tend to a few bubbles here and there. Do we have any bubbles? Fix it now. That looks good. I didn't have to squeeze it. I didn't have to pull resin out. I knew exactly how much resin was there. All I'm doing is getting everything nice and flat and whatever air bubbles were there, I just pull them out. This is the way I get ultra light boards because I can calculate exactly how much resin I leave behind because I knew how much resin I put on there in the first place. Plus, most of us are better at hot coating because that's the job we start out with. And when you get good at hot coating, the shop owner might say, hey, you know what? The laminator is sick today, you jump in and try it. Little air bubbles tend to pop up every once in a while, so there it is. That's all you gotta do. It's that easy. Perfect lamination. Push too hard and it's gonna come out dry, so light pressure. And the last thing I do is I make sure that the board is sitting perfectly on the point. If not, the board's gonna twist as it cures. And that's gonna be a bad thing. But this is how I teach people the glass for the first time. It's simple. 